That's my sweater. Yo, <laughs> I'm so excited. So this is. I'll just assume you can't hear the noise in the background. Anyway, so this is Miss Osapir. I met her during the market that I did over the weekend. And she told me that she's making my sweater, but I hadn't watched the video yet. So now I'm watching it and I'm like, ah, it's my, it's mine. Like, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I don't know. It feels so nice to see someone making my, my tutorial. Like, wow. Let me, let me just continue watching. If you could see my face, I'm just smiling from ear to ear. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So, I, the thing is, I like this dress, I like the design, I love the fit, but it's, it's too holy, like, it has a lot of space and I can't wear it as is, so I will unravel this one, I don't know if I'll make it into another dress or just something else, but this one I will unravel, just because of the practicality of all of it. I could also line it, but no, I want to unravel it. Hello, so we're at the point of this video where like there's some stability and we can have like a bit of a chit chat. So as you may have seen, I went for a market which was very much out of my comfort zone. So I'm very proud of myself that I actually followed through it and you know, really attempted to be present. I wasn't able to get much content because my main focus <laughs> was to be a social person. So in the content area wasn't the best at it but it doesn't matter you know and then i also went for a run so tattoo city had a run that was in preparation of city marathon seeing that city marathon was postponed initially i had signed up to go do the 10 kilometer run but then when i got there majority of my friends were doing the 21 kilometer one so guess who ended up doing 21 kilometers Granted, I didn't run the whole way because <laughs> I <laughs> I don't even know what I'm explaining. I'm not a runner, but I do like being active. So yeah, I was able to complete it. And I think it took me like about two hours for five minutes. I don't know if that's good or bad. I just know I finished it. Yeah, is there anything else I need to update? No. So now we're at the point where I'm crocheting this skirt. As you may have seen, I am reworking the, this dress into a skirt. I didn't I don't think I mentioned what I'm making, but I ended up doing a skirt. So this is how much we have so far. I'm not following any pattern. So what I did, I started with a foundation chain of half double crochet. I don't know how many there were. I don't know. I didn't count. I just measured on myself. And then once I got um enough to go around my waist area then I started to increase gradually as you can see until now I got to my hip measurement so now I'm just going to continue working it until either the yarn runs out or I get to the length I want and yeah that's basically what the rest of this video is going to be I'm just going to be finishing this cut yeah and if I'm able to I want to make a top I don't have enough yarn to make like a matching set, but I have these two. I don't know if it will be enough for a top, but it will be enough for something, right? Yeah, anyway, that's the plan. And then I also want to do a tutorial for my holy mesh pattern because, you know, I do tutorials now. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. I think. That pretty much gives you an update of all the videos you've seen and all of that. And yeah, that is it. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. This one will be a little bit of a shorter one just because of circumstances and everything. But, you know, you get to sit here and talk and ramble a bit. I feel like a win is a win, you know? Anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, for now, 
I just want to like sort this yarn out. I want to make this mesh stop tutorial with some of these thrifted yarn that I found that I have. So I have these two colors and then now come on in front of my video you want to start hammering anyway so these are the colors i'll be using i think it'll turn out really cute i'm not quite sure what material this is i would say maybe it's a blend of cotton and acrylic it's a bit thicker than usual so i don't know guys i'm just winging it a lot of my crochet process is winging it and just going with the flow because crochet for me is just such a therapeutic thing so i don't like to put so much pressure to myself anyway so i'm just going to unwind it and see what it looks like maybe i need to you know retie some of these bits because you can never get like a full ball of yarn when it comes to thrifted yarn and that's just the reality of it yeah before i ramble on let me just unravel and unwind and then i'll get back to finishing the skirt yeah, I want to finish at least one project in this video, so I just don't leave you all hugging like I always do. So it's definitely a few days later, but we're done with this cut and this is how it turned out. I added some elastic to the waist so that when I wear it over time it doesn't loosen and just still maintains the fit because it fits really well. I'm very <laughs> proud of myself seeing that I freehanded everything and did not, you know, take measurements. I just kept trying it on on my body to see if it fits. And then with the yarn that I showed you. I added also the, this maroon or like burgundy color and made this top which I had no idea how it turned out but I think it's quite cute and yeah remember when I was like I wanted a matching top for this I remember that I had this bikini top which is basically the same colors the yellow and the brown and then I have this shrug so I feel like I have made myself a matching set you know how nice then I have this beanie that I need to deliver to my mom. Yesterday she called me to saying that it's been really cold and if I have anything, like any beanies or anything that she can buy, this is the only one I have left, so we'll take that to her tomorrow. So now I just need to steam these two and then we'll try them on tomorrow. And then after that, maybe we can get back to making this knit cardigan. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. I'm just too scared to finish it in case I don't like it. But I'm like, ah, come on, Glow, just finish it. But yeah, that's the plan. Let me just team this and then tomorrow we'll try it on. I'm actually so excited to see how these two look together. I don't know. I just, I'm just excited. But the thing is, <laughs> I made these when the weather has literally become so cold. It's been foggy and I, I, I don't know, but... I'm also kind of manifesting like a coastal trip so yeah anyway before I ramble on I'll see you tomorrow when I am trying them on and also to end the video mm -hmm. 